Today is the time to learn about the must of mud that decorates the first week of 2023. I've prepared a lot of really great mods, so don't leave midway today and watch until the end, my friend. Then let's start. The Gunner Armor Expansion Mud adds customizable outfits, helmets, backpacks, and gloves. There is not just one type, there are 68 types each for each outfit helmet, backpack, and glove. It definitely feels a lot more tactical than the original vanilla outfit. Losing this mod will definitely make your Commonwealth Gunners feel more gunnery. Look at these Gunners, there will be no more Gunners wearing ragtag military uniforms. Now you really don't envy the late games, do you? These outfits are also added to the Gunners level list, so Gunner wear these outfits randomly. Now let's try to get outfits one by one through a battle with them. If that's not your thing, you can craft Hedger outfit gloves, backpack, oxygen tank, and shoulder armor from Chemistry Station's Gunner Militia category. You'll be able to make outfits conveniently without materials. The second mod I'm going to introduce you to is the wall-mounted magazine shelf. The wall-mounted magazine shelf mod adds a simple wall-mounted magazine shelf to the Commonwealth with stat points to better display all your magazines. It's a simple design and it goes really well with the different covers of the magazines it's mounted on. You can find magazine shelves in the furniture, shelves category. After placing the magazine shelf, if you place a magazine in the shelf, the magazine will be displayed. A total of 10 magazines can be stored in one magazine shelf. The third mod to introduce is Base Object Swapper. This fusion is mostly welcomed by mod creators rather than players. But in fact Base Object Swapper is a great fusion with applications in many fields. In fact, this is a fusion that was first released in Skyrim, and based on this there are mods that add seasons and numerous mods that change objects under specific conditions are based on Base Object Swapper. Maybe mods based on base object swapper will continue to appear in the future, so you better keep an eye on them. Enjoy the Darkness mod is new hardcore mechanics to limit your use of the flashlight and night vision. And you can mod the optional stealth that allows enemies to see you in the dark when the light is on. Your flashlight and night vision goggles will heat up when on and cool down when off. If they overheat, they will emit radiation. Flashlight and night vision now use fusion cells as a power source. If you run out of fusion cells, they will emit radiation. A stealth fix allows enemies to detect you properly while you are in darkness with your flashlight on. You can just use this on its own if you want. I recommend this mod for players who want a more hardcore battle with a sense of fear in the dark. In particular, creatures such as ghouls and monsters will be more terrifying when they appear in the dark. Therefore, I think Enjoy the Darkness is good for players who want to limit flashlight and night vision in the dark and make good use of the darkness. The last mod to introduce is Luxor's Green Cedar Branches. This mod changes Commonwealth cedar branches to morgine colors. The textures are 2K textures, and specular map is 1K textures. If you want to change the desolate Commonwealth to a springy feel, this mod will probably help. That's it, I'm gonna finish all the mod introduction videos. Thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Subscriptions, likes and notification settings are very helpful for channel growth. Then see you next time.